Sussex quickly put their defeat to Surrey behind them in this season's Friends Life T20 while sending Middlesex to their first loss by completing a 24-run win at Lords. Chris Nash won the toss in the warm sunshine in North London and batted first on what looked like a dry but good batting surface. And how good soon became evident as both Luke Wright and Nash himself started to put bat to ball from the early overs with some excellent cricket shots. Tim Murta was expensive in his first two over spell which went for 34 runs and included this swept six from Nash into the grandstand while Wright also thumped the same bowler over the top as this pair of openers were soon racing the score along. Both Wright and Nash matched each other shot for shot as they kept the run rate at above nine per over in taking their opening partnership to 84 which was put on before the 10th over was through. They've done even better than this this season in the 40 over competition but they would have certainly been pleased with their start. The partnership was ended by Adam Voges playing his first game as a Panthers player at Lords, and he got one past the middle of Nash's bat to bowl the skipper for a 30 ball 45. All that did however was pick up the tempo of Wright's inning some more. A fierce drive through the covers off Neil Dexter brought the England man his seventh four and took the informed batsman to his latest half century of only 37 balls. He then looked unstoppable for a while as he started to hit everything rather cleanly, including this maximum of Gareth Berg. Wright had been joined by Rory Hamilton-Brown and the two of them together hardly let the run rate suffer. Hamilton-Brown is just beginning to find his best form for the county he rejoined from across London, while Wright recently made his career best first class score on this very ground. It was becoming something of a blitz from Wright and another hundred looked likely until he clubbed a slower ball from the returning Murta to Josh Davy at long on to depart for an 81 made from just 49 deliveries. With 26 balls left and the total already on 156 for two, Middlesex would not have wanted to see the big hitting Dwayne Smith stroll to the crease. He struck two sixes in successive overs as Sussex, who narrowly lost their first game in this competition, closed in on 200 this time. Hamilton Brown fell in the final over, skying a return catch off the leading edge to Kyle Mills to go for a speedy 47, but the Sharks still ended on 202 for three, the second largest domestic T20 total at Lords. Yet for a while, the home side made a very good stab at chasing it down. Darwin Milan may have struggled for form in championship cricket this summer, but at the top of the batting order in the one-day arena, he's been one of the best players around, and that was in evidence here. And with the hard-hitting Irishman Paul Sterling at the other end clearing the ropes early, this pair was soon matching what Wright and Nash had achieved at the start of their innings. Sterling was dropped in the deep by Hamilton Brown, and for a while that looked as if it may be costly, as this pair again showed that once they get going, they can be a tough act to stop. Before the seventh over of the reply was up, 64 runs have been knocked off the target already. One of the differences between the two sides, as it turned out, was the brilliant outfielding from Sussex. Sterling the first to find that out as he was well held at wide long on by a sprinting Smith. Sterling was gone for 22 ball 33, but Milan was able to keep going and like right before him, he reached a 50 off 37 balls and then quickly added this maximum. Joe Denley was out just after the 100 had been posted, Joe Gatting with an extraordinary one-handed catch in the deep and then much of the rest followed quickly in their pursuit of runs. Milan on 61 was bowled by Nash. Voges hit Michael Yardy out to right to go for five with a score on 116 for four at the start of the 15th over. And Adam Rossington, the hero for his team with the bat on Friday in Kent, swept Yardy out to Smith to give the bowler figures of three for 30 from his four overs. With the required run rate climbing all of the time, it was going to take a miracle now for Middlesex to turn this game around. Dexter tried his hardest to do that and hit three sixes in a 10 ball stay, which gave him 27 runs, but even that wasn't enough. He had no option but to throw the bat at everything and hold out off Chris Jordan, with 55 still wanted off only 16 balls. Jordan then knocked out Davies' leg stump behind the batsman's legs, while Berg found Hamilton Brown on the long off boundary's edge before Ollie Rayner and Mills saw out the last couple of overs 
helped by six penalty runs for the Sharks' slow overrate. That saw the Panthers end their innings on 178 for eight. No bad effort, but one that was just not good enough against this strong-looking Sussex outfit. The margin of victory for the visitors was 24 runs, and that means both sides have started off this season's T20 with one win and one defeat.